Ford recently had its credit rating raised two levels by Moody's. The rating agency says that Ford's performance has significantly exceeded expectations. Ford's chief economist, Ellen hughes Cromick will still sees a slow-go recovery for the auto industry, though. She joins me now from the National Association for Business Economics annual meeting that's underway in Denver. Uh, good morning to you, uh, Ellen. Thanks for making time for us. Hi, Margaret. You know, one of the uh, data points that jumps out here, we heard it from CarMax's CEO recently, and that's credit availability for consumers is back to pre-recession levels. That's what he says. Do you agree? Well, I think, Margaret, we've seen some sizable improvements in terms of automotive credit. And specifically, if you look at the securitization market, automotive ABS volumes are uh, really coming back. And as you know, that's sort of the food stuff for creating loans and leases. So that trend is improving. I will say that, uh, you know, it has, has been really a gradual trend up. We haven't seen any significant acceleration yet. So if, as a consumer, it's easier for me to get the funding to make that purchase, has that actually translated into the desire or the willingness to make a purchase right now? Yeah, you know, I think there's progress. Again, it's very gradual. What we're seeing is retail sales, uh, you know, in the auto automotive market starting to move up. You saw the uh, September data. We actually had total light sales at about 11.7 million units on an annualized basis. And retail sales uh, in that, you know, we're, we're up gradually. So we're definitely off the troughs that we saw in the first half of 09, if you can remember back to those, you know, really ugly numbers in terms of uh, sales. And there's pent up demand. So I think, you know, the outlook is uh, a modestly growing retail market. When you look, I mean, you're a global economist, so give me the snapshot there. I mean, when you look at Ford sales, you hear about all sorts of vibrant growth in Africa and in Asia. Give me a sense of where the appetite yeah. is for Europe and in some of the other countries where they have had to take a dose of austerity. Yeah, well, let's start in Europe because, as you recall, we had uh, scrappage programs, you know, the equivalent of the cash for clunkers in many of those markets. Uh, Germany had a blockbuster program there, and so sales in Europe were quite strong during the recession period. Now there's a little bit of a payback from that, but I guess I was uh, pleasantly surprised. I just got back from Europe, and the automotive market is still moving up. So September actually looked pretty good, and it's outperforming our expectations. So I think there's a little bit of uh, caution, obviously, because the budget cuts there are going to take away some income that could be spent spent in the consumer markets, and uh, we'll have to watch that, but so far so good in, in Europe. And then, of course, Asia, we've seen very robust demand across the board, China, India, and take uh, Brazil, just uh, very solid growth there. In a lot of the other smaller markets in both Asia and Latin America. So, you know, it's been a pretty good, uh, solid growth year for global vehicle sales. So within that context, uh, you just took us around the world there. How do you characterize the U.S. market? I know you said it's sort of slow and steady going, but where are we going? Yes. Yeah, I think, you know, we'll, uh, like I said, continue to see that six-month moving average. That's a, that's a stat that we use a lot because it really gives you a good guidepost for, you know, where we're likely to go over the next uh, three to six months. And on a six-month moving average basis, we're gradually ticking up. As I said, we have pent-up demand in the U.S. The vehicle stock is getting really old. I mean, the mm -hmm. average age is uh, over 10 years. Years. And then, uh, you know, just in terms of the sales in Asia, very strong Brazil, as I mentioned. All right. Uh, we hear so much about those markets right now. Thank you very much, Ellen, for making time.